Hey everyone! So now that we've rung in 2017, I hope a lot of you are resolving to clean out those makeup drawers. It can be expensive though. So I got to thinking, while my root collection might be pretty big, not everyone's is. And a lot of people might want a way to start out that's not going to break the bank or that's just going to keep their routine super simple. So I challenged myself to do a five product day to night look and that's what I'm going to be bringing you guys today. Hope you love it. The first thing I'm reaching for for this look is going to be the Prime and Conceal in Fair. This is the lightest shade that they offer in the Prime and Conceal. So after I've used Prime and Conceal to lighten my under eyes like I typically would on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm reaching for it again because it's gonna be my primary face product. I'm gonna be using this as my foundation for this simple look. My favorite way to apply it is with a damp pretty blender. I find that the application is smoother and it goes on a little bit more even coverage than it would with a brush, but this application also does work with Roots Kabuki brush. It's just up to your preference. So this is what Fair Prime and Conceal looks like applied all over my face. So you can tell that it's a little bit more sheer coverage than the Pearl Powder Foundation, but still very even coverage. Though, because Prime and Conceal is an oil-based concealer, I like to add something over top to kind of set things in. I personally feel like if I were to just wear this alone all day long, I would be accidentally wiping it off when I didn't want to be. So my next step is gonna be to go in with Setting Silk. So Setting Silk is Roots Makeup Setting Powder and the active ingredients are Mica and Organic Aloe Vera Powder. And what Aloe Vera Powder does is it's really great for inflammation, but it also soaks up moisture. So this is one of my favorite setting powders, probably the favorite setting powder that I have found, not even just in green beauty, but in beauty in general. Um, I find that especially when I'm using a cream-based foundation, like I am using Prime and seal that it keeps all of that oil at bay all day long. The third product that I'm reaching for is one of my absolute favorites. This is Roots Brow Pomade in Ash Brown and I'm going to be using this in a couple of different ways on my face but the first thing I'm going to start out by doing is my brows. So I love this brow pomade. Not only is it all natural, it really, really helps to condition and hold the brows into place. I'm sticking with the brow pomade, but this time I'm gonna be using it for a little bit of contouring on my face. And even though it's specified for brows, it's really perfect for a contour because of its creamy, smooth consistency. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a flat makeup brush and I have a little bit of that brow pomade on the end. And I'm just gonna take it right along my cheekbone and blend out a little bit but then i'm going to go back to the pretty blender and blend it out all the way so i'm also just going to take that flat brush and i'm going to do it a little bit around my nose as well just because with my face shape that is one of the places that i like to contour and i also like to contour a little bit under my chin and jawline. For the really simple day look portion of this, I'm not adding anything else to my eyes except for the 100% Lash Natural Mascara. This mascara is one of my favorites in Green Beauty. The super nourishing and organic ingredients that are in it have actually helped my lashes to grow pretty considerably. I've been using it for about, I would say, maybe six months now. So this is the day look almost finished but I'm gonna be taking Roots Pretty Balm in Campbell and applying it to my lips lightly where I'm going for more of a stain look here rather than a full application. So I like to apply the Pretty Balm more to the inside of my lips and then just rub my lips together to disperse the pigment rather than actually applying it all over my lips. So my first step in taking this look from day to night is to apply a little bit of liner, but we're still sticking with these same five products. So I'm reaching for a detail brush and the Ash Brown Brow Pomade again. 
So I'm adding a little bit of water or you can use a little bit of your favorite facial oil to apply the brow pomade as an eyeliner. And this will just make it a little bit smoother. It'll glide on a little bit easier and it's still gonna have the exact same staying power. The next thing that I'm gonna do for the night version of this look is I'm gonna bring a little bit of color to my cheeks. So you can probably guess that I'm reaching for that Campbell Pretty Balm. The thing about Pretty Balms is that their creamy consistency, much like the brow pomade, works great for any type of a cheek pigment because it's super blendable. So I'm applying Campbell to my cheeks straight from the tube and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of swirl it on, not too dark, but just right on the apples of my cheeks. And I'm just gonna take my ring finger and kind of use a stifling motion to work that in. You can add more or less depending on how much color you want. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm just gonna add a little bit more pigment to the lips and that's gonna be it for this look. So there you can see how pigmented the Pretty Balms can be. This is honestly about five coats of Campbell on my lips, but it is this rich brick red color that I absolutely love. 